Hi guys, a long time to see you. We are in sunny Jamaica. Um, yesterday was our travel day and it was insane. I didn't vlog much because it was just such a crazy like time. I um, We got up at 3.30 in the morning, had to get to the airport and I thought, okay, our flight's at 6, 3.30 would be plenty of time. And we were, the lines were insane. Everybody, it seems like everyone was getting a plane at six. So we hopped on a plane from Baltimore to Chicago, which was two hours. And then when we got to Chicago, we got off the plane and was trying to find our next flight to Jamaica. And it was literally the same gate and plane. And um, so we quickly went and got some lunch and then got back on for the four, three, four hour flight to Jamaica. And these planes, okay, look, I did United and I did Economy Plus and I had no TVs at all on the plane. No entertainment, so lesson learned. Don't do that again, that sucked. Um, the two hour flight was fine, but the four hour flight was torturous. It was torturous, because we were exhausted, it was uncomfortable, we were jammed in like sardines, but like that's my fault for being cheap. <laughs> but once we got to Jamaica, we ended up getting this service called Club Mobe, and it like basically breezes you through customs and everything. Like you have like your own little handler who like takes you through customs and gets, it, it was so fast. And then we got to um, the Sandals Lounge and we basically had enough time to use the bathroom and get a drink. And then they were ushering us into this like little van because it was another hour and a half ride to um, the resort and I, I'll, I'll stick a few little clips i have of yesterday i didn't vlog yesterday it was just so hectic so crazy i ended up being so stressed out i got this giant zit on my chin but i'm not worrying about it the sun will take care of that this week um so yeah this is our first official day and we went um got here got checked in got everything ready and then we went and had a really nice dinner last night at the reef it was like candlelight the food it was like caribbean food it was absolutely delicious we sat and had a couple drinks at the little piano bar beforehand and then we came back here and went right to bed so today is going to be our first full official day i'm going to take you along and show you everything and um hopefully you'll have fun with us so before we got too much in the blog the vlog i wanted to kind of show an overview of where we were staying this is one of the largest sandals resorts it's cut into three different sections we stayed in the butler village all the way up to the top um and we were able to either golf cart, golf cart <laughs> ride down to the Great House Village, or we were kind of one of the first few little houses. Um, and I'll share with you the houses up close later. But um, we were able to just walk to the Great House Village, which is where the main pool is, we hit the spa is. Um, a lot of restaurants, there's like 17 restaurants in this resort. If you wanted to... Um, head on down to the OG Beach Club you just hop on their own little bus it takes like shoot like five minutes to get to um, each separate area um, and the buses come around every 15 10 15 minutes so it's you're never really waiting around long um, so the OG Beach Club has a really nice waterfront that's where we ended up having our, our candlelight dinner as well and we ate there a couple of times we did like a, a beach day there and then you can walk on over to the Riviera, Riviera, Riviera Beachfront Tower we had lunch um, in one of the tapas restaurants in front of there as well and you can also get on little floats and have like a little beach day right there in that little beach as well and if you keep on walking down all the way to the left that is um where their water sports are there's another little pool and like a lot of um entertainment there as well so this was a huge resort and it was super fun um it is one of their more affordable resorts according to my research i didn't want to spend a ton of money like an arm and a leg just to take this trip but we still ended up spending a significant amount of money on this trip but definitely worth it um and I don't know this is a hit or miss like a lot of reviews were like ah i'd miss it the rooms are dated etc etc we had a blast i think it's all an attitude and how you want to um like how you want to 
use your energy do you want to be negative or you just want to have fun and go go with the flow so we had an absolute blast the rooms are kind of dated um up in the butler village but i heard rumors that they're going to be shutting down um sections at a time to totally redo the houses and everything um but you know we didn't spend a ton of time in our room we were out and about doing like a lot all the time so we had a ton of fun i just want to give you guys like a little bit of a reference of how big this resort was so this is our room when we checked in we had champagne waiting we had little hors d'oeuvres um flowers everywhere our butler got us straight she made all of our dinner reservations and um all our like extras like our spa day and our candlelight dinner she got all of that straight for us um here's our little kitchenette area it comes with coffee every morning there's ice in the ice bucket there's top shelf liquor and wine and champagne in there and also cokes and sprites and here is the bedroom as you can see this is what i mean by like a little bit dated but the bed was super comfortable the sheets were clean um the bathroom was all right um i did, definitely did not get a bath in that tub but um it was great for taking a shower in so this is my outfit for today i got this little um cute little bikini from sheen um this is from sheen i think this is from sheen as well um it has matching bathing suit bottoms high-waisted of course because i have that like mom tom but this is what i'm wearing today it's super cute um i was gonna do it without shorts but I'm, i don't know i feel like i need some shorts to walk around in all day we also have a butler so she gave us this little um, phone to call her we get little um, we have all our weekly activities planned um, and so so with a butler we get a uh, little golf cart rides around everywhere and she puts in our reservations um, at all everywhere for dinner and like we'll book our massages we have a massage and a candlelight dinner tomorrow which is super I'm super excited about this is the butler room it is a little bit kind of it's dated. Um, it's nice though. We have we have our own little balcony. So coming back in through the balcony, we have this little living room area and TV. And then over here, we already had, we were greeted with like champagne. I think I showed a clip of that. And we have a little coffee. We're getting ready to go to breakfast. We get all this alcohol, but we don't really drink. <laughs> so um, we will be indulging, but we really don't drink. So we uh, have our fridge full of red stripe beer, um, Pepsi, Sprite, and fruit drinks. Um, and some wine so we will definitely be indulging a little bit even though we don't like we're not super big drinkers but everything's so cute i'm just sitting here waiting for my husband to finish showering but um, i wanted to say one more thing about the piano oh you're done um the one thing about the piano last night so the piano bar guy my husband was like oh can you play uh, a song and he's like i don't know that song so he listened to it for like three minutes for like two seconds like quickly um, I guess however long the song is and then he was able to like do the whole thing. It was crazy and impressive So we might go check him out again because um, He's like, oh, I'll learn that other song that you want me to learn and come back. So we'll have to go check him out um, But yeah, I'm excited about today we ate breakfast at the southern table which is the buffet i think two days and we did um room service one day and it was so good we were down there super early so we were able to snag some nice shady my husband putting all the sunblock on some nice shady chairs and this is like the main pool and they have attractions they have a swim up bar um we started off drinking really early in the morning like noob mistake for us for sure um and it tasted so good you really can't even tell like they make it so good you can't even tell the alcohol we were done we were so fried by like <laughs> 11 o'clock um but it was definitely nice to just kind of relax um but they had some entertainment this was a bob marley um <laughs> 
uh, contest where the entertainers, like, the entertainment was top tier. They were having so much fun with all these, like, silly, drunk um, guests. And there's my husband in the pool. I was trying to sober up a little bit, um, but I ended up joining him in the volleyball game. And we played, like, four rounds of volleyball. It was so fun. And then we got up and got some pizza. Um... And then we went back down to go back to our chairs and someone stole our chairs. So I was really sad about that, but we ended up heading back to our own room and then um, talking with our, our little neighbors in the building and hanging out in the pool for the rest of the day until it was time for dinner. All right, here is the fit of the night. This dress is also from Sheen. This is the fit of the night. We're going to Hibachi tonight for dinner and then we're going to walk around and check out the beach side. <laughs> so this is Ochi Beach Club. They have a lot of really like Instagram type um, picturesque little props in this area. It was so fun. Um, we were here for the hibachi. That's the beach. So in the morning, all those chairs are absolutely filled. Um, the water is so clear and beautiful. And they have little, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, they have little floating rafts out there. So you can get out there and just kind of sunbathe. This is a little wedding chapel, which they ended up having a wedding here when we were here. And it was so beautiful. Like, can you imagine getting married right here? I think if you stay more than three nights, you can get a free wedding or something like that. Um, we didn't opt for that, but that's something to like, maybe we could do for our 20th i don't know renew our vows out here it, it was just so gorgeous here is the hibachi restaurant this was okay um it was different than at home um we got a sampling of all the meats in one we definitely could not finish it this is just showing the chicken but we ended up with chicken shrimp um steak fish and all kinds of things um this is the next morning we woke up bright and early we had breakfast out on our balcony we love this balcony like we could be nosy and watch everyone come and go <laughs> good morning guys this is day two pimplezilla still going strong although it's went down but i have raccoon reverse raccoon eyes because I got, it looks worse on film, I promise you. My face doesn't hurt, my chest doesn't hurt. The only part that hurts is like right here. Um, and only the front side of my body got sun yesterday. Um, but I don't hurt. So today I'm gonna put a ton more of sunscreen on and maybe focus on getting some sun on my back just to kind of even it out. But we had a great time yesterday. It's been hard to vlog just because we've been around a bunch of people. It's loud and noisy, but we've been having so much fun. This is today's outfit of the day. I have a little two-piece under here. I really like this detail. That's gonna be a fun tan line for sure. Um, I have little pants on and then just a regular like bottom underneath. Um, today is the day that we are celebrating our um, anniversary, like today's anniversary day. My husband got me these beautiful flowers my husband got these beautiful flowers for me i think they're so pretty um there was just a maintenance guy or somebody running around he was like oh you want flowers for your lady and he said sure so he went around through all the trees and or bushes and stuff and picked these for me um i just think it's just a sweet gesture and it's so beautiful it's like a banana spider or something yeah look at this He's made his web from here to here for poor some unsuspecting soul. Ah! We ended up just kind of chilling out. This is the smoker section, but um, it was in the sh shade. So we went over here and just kind of sat in the shade waiting for our massage. The spa experience was a 10 out of 10. It was so nice. They did such a good job and really worked out a lot of like the knots and problem areas in my shoulder um, after our massage we went ended up going to the tapas um, restaurant and had some shrimp tacos we saw a little cats there was cats everywhere in the resort we had a, a couple by our pool everywhere we walked we could see these little wild um, cats here was my shrimp tacos that was my husband's calamari um, and then we ended up going in the water as well and the water I thought this was really funny the coconut weather station um, 
It was really funny and we ended up going in the water and they had a bunch of these little fishies all around so we were kind of feeding them with, with just like whatever we could find in the water like seaweed and stuff like that um it was a really really fun experience um and really got me excited for snorkeling oh my goodness we came back from the beach and they did this whole thing on the bed I love it. He says there's something in the bathroom too. <gasps> that is so cool. Oh my goodness. That's so nice. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. That is amazing. Oh. Whew, we came back to change. Today we did our massage and it was so nice. We ended up doing the CBD um, oil massage and she really worked out a lot of like the knots and stuff that I've been having trouble with um, in my back. And we ended up purchasing some CBD and uh, some CBD oil massage stuff, uh, cream, and um, some really good aloe stuff she recommended because I'm sunburned. <laughs> Um, and then we ended up going over to the beach and you saw the, the fish and everything. It was so nice. And now we're back to like calm down a minute because we have that candlelight dinner tonight. Um, they decorated our bed and, and we ordered some, just a cheeseburger to split and they had, they, she left a, our butler left a fruit, um, plate and then also some chocolate cake, but we're going to leave the chocolate cake for tonight. Um, after we get back from our dinner, um, they're also ha also having a white, chocolate party um tonight or a, a all white chocolate party but we don't have anything that's white so we're just going to show up with, in whatever we have but um it was a phenomenal day it was so fun it's just such an easy laid back relaxing time and it's exactly what we needed excuse my makeup it just smeared everywhere but it's so nice I decided to surprise my husband with this candlelight dinner um, for two. And there was two of us on the beach. There was one over here and somebody celebrating a birthday over there, but like we definitely felt secluded. This was also the night that they were having the wedding at the chapel. Um, and this was also in front of a couple of restaurants. So it was a little like being on display, but totally worth it. The food was amazing. We got the shrimp appetizer. I got the, um, the seafood bisque and my husband got the scallops to start my bisque was super spicy though so i ended up giving that to him um we ended up with this huge wedge caesar salad um way too much food and then i ended up getting the lamb and he ended up getting the surf and turf and the food was absolutely amazing the ambiance was beautiful you could like hear um the water lapping um it was just amazing Today is our last full day here. We're going snorkeling at 11, which I'm really excited about. And then we also um, went to go look at the pictures we've gotten taken at the resort, um, go to the gift shop, just hang out. And then we have a reservation at the French restaurant at eight, which is a little late for us. We've been like going a bit early, getting up early. Um, just enjoying not really having a schedule, even though we kind of do, but um, just enjoying not being active parents of a toddler. It's been really nice. But today's outfit is a little bit more casual. Um, I have this swimsuit, which I really like because it has the mesh. It kind of is going to be more like covered for the sunburn. Um, I have these cute little like printed pants and of course my bathing suit bottoms. Um, just like a more casual day. I'm making sure to pack plenty of water in my bag. Oh, I need to get the snorkeling gear. Yeah, that's important. But I'll take you along with us as we go to breakfast. I don't know how much of the snorkeling I'll get to film. I forgot my underwater camera, which I'm really sad about. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. I had a Southern table again for breakfast. I'm really sad that I'm not really gonna get to have really good like breakfast beans on toast. Um, going back to America, I just think it's so delicious. Um, we went out and kind of laid out in front of the beach area um, while waiting for our snorkeling time. Um, this was us after we were done snorkeling. It was so much fun and look how beautiful Jamaica is. It's just such a beautiful country um, and the people are, are so amazing and welcoming. Like 
inside and outside the resort everyone is so nice and so welcoming and we just had a ton of fun and i definitely want to go back as well um this is what we ended up with for lunch i think i ended up getting the chicken burger um here is our building so it's four apartments and we're upstairs with another apartment there's two downstairs and if you walk around this way i don't think anybody's in a pool if you walk around this way here is access to our own personal pool area which we've utilized and tonight is our last night so we're kind of dressed up a little bit we're going to the french restaurant and um there's this little thing for the butlers we're gonna go do here's my handsome date Good morning guys. Sorry I didn't um, film much last night after dinner and everything. We had a blast. Um, we went to a butler party and then we, um, which we played a bunch of games and won some prizes. I won some playing cards. And then we sat at the like piano bar and had um, some cocktails and waited for our dinner reservation. Um, chatted up with a bunch of people. We met a bunch of people last night. It was really nice to just kind of, I don't know, it's something a little bit refreshing about just having conversations with people you know you're never really going to meet again. It was amazing. Um, and then the uh, piano guy came out and we listened to that for a while. My husband was looking at the stars. The, the light pollution is there isn't any light pollution here, so the skies are so clear, and he, he really, he's like, obviously, um, the space and stars and, like, all that stuff, so he was, like, tracking some things in the sky, there's a bunch of people doing that, it was kind of funny, they were all like, oh, man, you're doing the same thing I am, and then we had a French dinner, and that was amazing, I didn't really film in there, because, um, we happened to catch up with a couple of the couples, that we saw out in the lounge and dinner so we were all having like this big conversation it was really nice and then after that we came back home because we had or came back to the the room because we had to pack up and get ready to go it's currently 6 30 in the morning we have we're gonna go to breakfast at 7 30. um our bags have to be out in front of our door at 8. Um, check out is at 8 30 in the morning um we get on the bus at nine we get to the um the hotel an hour and a half later and then then flights and flights and flights so i might record some other ride back but um i'm probably not gonna be recording any of the airport and planes and stuff because that's boring i mean i i enjoy it for my own personal i'll take pictures and stuff for me and video for me but I probably won't film too much over there, but look at this view. Every morning we come out here, they have a coffee maker in the room. Every morning we come out here and just sit and start our day like this. We were so sad to leave and we have our hour and a half ride back to the airport, get through customs, head to Chicago, go through customs and TSA again, and then be on our way back to Baltimore.